Hey there, fellow time traveler through the annals of cinematic history. Do you remember those golden days when black and white TV screens held us captive, and the thrill of science fiction was enough to send shivers down our spines? Ah, the nostalgia. Have you ever had the pleasure of watching the 1953 classic, Invaders from Mars? I'm sure many of you have fond memories tucked away in the corners of your mind. Memories of sitting wide-eyed in front of the flickering screen as those otherworldly beings with their peculiar helmets and eerie glow left an indelible mark on your imagination. Or perhaps it was the young, intrepid David MacLean, bravely facing the unknown, who captured your heart. Let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? Share with us your favorite moments, the characters who made you laugh, cry, or scream in delight, and the unforgettable experiences you had while watching this sci-fi gem. But before we dive headfirst into the sea of nostalgia, did you know that Invaders from Mars has some fascinating behind-the-scenes stories and trivia? Let's unravel those intriguing facts and uncover the secrets that make this classic film even more remarkable. So, fellow time travelers and movie buffs, let's relive those days when the world was simpler and our sense of wonder knew no bounds. Share your memories and let's embark on this cinematic journey together. In the 1953 movie Invaders from Mars, filmmakers used little people to double for the main characters in action shots involving mutants. Six mutants, varying in height from 51 to 63, worked alongside these little people to maintain the correct size ratio. This was necessary because the primary mutants were 82 and 77, and their costumes made their movements awkward. Interestingly, in August 1957, the film Invaders from Mars was shown as part of a double bill with this island Earth, offering viewers a sci-fi movie double feature. The genesis of the film can be traced back to a vivid and disturbing dream that the wife of writer John Tucker Battle had. In the dream, Martians invaded Earth, and when she recounted it to her husband, he used it as the basis for the movie's storyline. His details shed light on some of the behind-the-scenes aspects and connections of the 1953 film Invaders from Mars. It's fascinating how dreams and practical considerations played a role in shaping this classic sci-fi movie. In 1953, the science fiction movie Invaders from Mars hit the big screen, marking one of the early entries in the genre during the 1950s. While the film is remembered for its suspenseful storyline and eerie Martian invaders, it also boasts an interesting cast of actors in minor roles. Among the notable actors with brief appearances in the film are Todd Carnes, known for his role as Harry Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life, Locke Martin, who portrayed Gort the Robot in The Day the Earth Stood Still, Milburn Stone, who later became famous as Doc Adams in the long-running series Gunsmoke. Barbara Billingsley, recognized as Mrs. Cleaver in Leave it to Beaver, Robert Shane, who played Inspector Henderson in Adventures of Superman, and Douglas Kennedy, who had his own Western series, Steve Donovan, Western Marshall. Furthermore, Invaders from Mars is notable for being one of the early science fiction scripts of the 1950s. The revised script was completed in September 1950, but the film wasn't produced until 1952 and released in early 1953. This highlights the film's role in shaping the science fiction genre during that period. In a memorable scene from the movie, Dr. Kelston mentions the Lubbock Lights and a Captain Mantell. These references are tied to real-life UFO events that captured the nation's attention in the 1950s. The photographs shown by Dr. Kelston in the film are authentic images of the Lubbock Lights, which were widely reported in newspapers and magazines. Invaders from Mars is not just a classic sci-fi film. It also serves as a time capsule of the era, featuring notable actors and referencing real-life UFO phenomena that fascinated the public in the 1950s. In the 1953 movie Invaders from Mars, the special effects team used some clever techniques to bring the Martian invasion to life on the screen. One notable method involved creating the appearance of a sandpit opening and closing. To achieve this effect, they cut a long slit in a piece of heavy canvas and inserted a large funnel. Then, they attached a powerful vacuum to the funnel and covered the entire setup with sand. When the vacuum was activated, it sucked the sand down, creating the illusion of the sandpit opening. To show the sandpit closing, they simply reversed the film. 
This practical approach helped create the eerie Martian landscape in the movie. Interestingly, Luz Potter, one of the munchkins from The Wizard of Oz, played a significant role in Invaders from Mars. She portrayed the Martian head enclosed in glass in the film. For years, she received letters from fans who were scared by her portrayal as children. It's a testament to the lasting impact of her performance in this classic science fiction film. Additionally, the special effects department used an unconventional item to create the bubbles on the walls of the underground tunnels in the movie condoms. This unexpected choice of material demonstrates the resourcefulness of the filmmaking team and their dedication to bringing the Martian world to life. Invaders from Mars remains a notable and innovative film in the science fiction genre, known for its creative special effects and memorable performances. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the ingenuity and craftsmanship that went into making this classic sci-fi movie. The eerie sandpit choir chant in the 1953 movie Invaders from Mars was created by a choral group consisting of eight men and eight women. This haunting chant was later enhanced with echo effects during post-production, giving it an eerie and ethereal quality. To keep the film's budget in check, the director, William Cameron Menzies, made some cost-cutting decisions. One of them was the elimination of Cricket, David's dog, from the script. Using animals in movies can be time-consuming and costly, which Menzies couldn't afford. Interestingly, Invaders from Mars was one of the first science fiction scripts written in the 1950s. The revised script was completed in September 1950, but the film wasn't produced until 1952 and was released in early 1953. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the creative and financial decisions that shaped this classic sci-fi film. From eerie chants to budget-conscious choices, Invaders from Mars remains an intriguing piece of cinematic history. The 1953 movie Invaders from Mars is a classic science fiction film that has left a lasting impact on the genre. Directed by William Cameron Menzies, this film tells the story of a young boy named David who witnesses a UFO landing in his backyard. The film is known for its eerie atmosphere and imaginative portrayal of Martians. One interesting fact about the movie is the eerie sandpit choir chant. This chant was performed by a choral group consisting of eight men and eight women. In post-production, the chant was enhanced with echo to give it a more haunting and ethereal quality. This added to the overall sense of unease and suspense in the film making it a memorable element for viewers. Invaders from Mars also features several well-known actors in small roles. Todd Carnes, who played Jimmy the gas station attendant, was previously known for his role as Harry Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life. Locke Martin, who portrayed the Martian mutant carrying little David in the underground tunnel, had previously played Gort the Robot in The Day the Earth Stood Still. Milburn Stone, who played an army officer searching the sand dunes, later became famous as Doc Adams on the long-running western series Gunsmoke. Barbara Billingsley, who played Dr. Kelston's secretary, was also known as Mrs. Cleaver and Leave It to Beaver. Robert Shane, who portrayed a scientist in the film, had previously played Inspector Henderson on Adventures of Superman. Additionally, Douglas Kennedy, who played a policeman taken over by the Martians, had his own Western series, Steve Donovan, Western Marshal. These actors brought their talent to invaders from Mars, even in small roles, contributing to the film's overall appeal. The combination of a compelling story, eerie elements, and the presence of these actors has solidified the movie's status as a notable classic in the world of science fiction cinema. In conclusion, Invaders from Mars is a 1953 sci-fi movie that continues to captivate audiences with its eerie atmosphere and memorable performances by both leading and supporting actors. The inclusion of the Sandpit Choir chant and the appearances of well-known actors in small roles add to its charm and legacy in the genre. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of invaders from Mars, we find ourselves at a crossroads of nostalgia and curiosity. This iconic sci-fi masterpiece, a testament to the imagination of its era, has sparked countless journeys into the cosmos of our own minds. As you've ventured through the cinematic realm, perhaps you've felt a kinship with young David MacLean, drawn into a web of unearthly intrigue. 
Or maybe you've marveled at the eerie landscapes created by the film's visionary director, William Cameron Menzies. Invaders from Mars carries with it a mystique that transcends generations, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of cinematic history. Now, we invite you to reflect on your personal connection with this timeless classic. What memories does it stir within you? Do you recall the thrill of your first encounter with the Martians? Were you captivated by the special effects of a bygone era? Share your thoughts, your musings, and your fondest memories of this cinematic gem with us. Whether it's a vivid recollection or a fleeting emotion, your connection to invaders from Mars is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. It's a thread that ties us across time, inviting us to explore the uncharted depths of our imaginations. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. We look forward to hearing your stories and experiences, for they enrich the legacy of invaders from Mars. Until next time, keep exploring the galaxies of your own imagination. Warm regards.